Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about the names and symbols of different elements. Now there are 118 elements in total, each with their own names. Some of the names of these elements are derived from the place in which they were first discovered. For example, an element Californium was first found in California and so its name became Californium. An element europium was named after Europe and an element polonium is named after Poland where it was first discovered. Another set of elements are uh, named after famous scientists in order to honor them. For example, borium is named after a scientist whose name is Niels Bohr. Rutherfordium is named after Ernest Rutherford and Einsteinium is named after a famous scientist Albert Einstein. Now another set of elements are named after their color. For example, gold is named after an English word that is yellow. However, nowadays uh, the names of the elements are approved by IUPAC which stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. So this is how we name elements. So as I said, there are 118 elements in total, each with its own long name. And in chemistry, we come across these elements and their names all the time. So it becomes tedious to write the names of these elements whenever we come across one. So we humans have come up with something called shorthand notation or a label for all the elements, which is called the symbol of the elements. Now the symbol of a particular element is unique to it, which means that every element has a particular symbol. Now the first person to make use of symbols to represent elements was John Dalton. Now according to him, an atom was a solid sphere. So he made use of this idea when he allotted symbols to different elements. It means that every symbol he allotted had a circle in it. For example, a hydrogen atom had a circle with a dot at the center. A carbon atom was a solid circle. A sulfur atom was a circle with a cross at inside. A nitrogen atom had a circle with a vertical line inside. A sodium atom was a circle with two vertical lines. And a potassium atom was again a circle with three vertical lines. Now these were the set of symbols given by Dalton. Now whenever he represented elements by their symbols, he also referred to a particular quantity of that element, that is one atom of that element. Now this symbol of hydrogen represents one atom of hydrogen and this symbol of nitrogen represents one atom of nitrogen. Although these set of symbols were quite simpler, they were still confusing and tedious for a person to remember. However, nowadays we do not make use of these set of symbols, but we have a simpler ones to make use of. So let us see what are those symbols. So we write the symbols of elements in four particular ways. The first way to write the symbol of an element is to write the first letter of the name of that element. For example, hydrogen atom is represented by capital H, which is the first letter of the name hydrogen. Again, a carbon atom is represented by a letter capital C, which is the first letter of the name. And oxygen atom is represented by capital O, which is again the first letter of the name oxygen. And the name phosphorus has been provided with the symbol of capital P. Now, we cannot represent all the 118 elements in this manner by their first letters of their names. The reason is there must be repetitions in many of the cases. For instance, we have 118 elements, but we have only 26 alphabets to represent them. So there is a huge possibility of repetitions. For example, helium cannot be represented by a letter capital H since hydrogen has been already allotted with that letter. So to overcome this, some elements are represented by first two letters of their names. That is, helium atom is represented by capital H and small e. That is, the first letter 
is represented in capital and the second letter is written as small. Again, a lithium atom is represented by a symbol Li which is again the first two letters of the name. Aluminium is represented by Al and argon atom is represented by Ar. Now another set of elements are represented by a symbol with two letters. The first one is the first letter of the name whereas the second one is a letter which appears later in the name of the element. And again in this case the first letter is taken as capital and the second letter is taken as small. For example, a magnesium element is written as Mg where we see that M is the first letter of magnesium and G is the third letter of the name magnesium. Again, a chlorine atom is represented by Cl where C is the first letter and L is the letter which appears later in the name chlorine. Similarly, for chromium the symbol is Cr and for zinc the symbol is Zn. Now the symbols of another set of elements are taken from their Latin, German and Greek names. For example, sodium atom is symbolized as Na which is taken from its Latin name that is natrium. Again, the potassium atom is denoted by a letter K which is again taken from its Latin name that is Callium. Again, iron is denoted as Fe which is taken from its Latin name that is Ferrum. For a copper atom, the symbol is Cu which is taken from the Latin name of copper that is Cuprum. So, this was all about the names and symbols of the elements that we have. So, I hope you liked this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.